Because Allah urges us to go and seek knowledge. The first word that came to the Messenger of Islam in the Mount of Light was Iqra. Read, O Muhammad. Read, O Muslims. Go to school. Read. Iqra. So from Iqra up to Malam Ya Alam, Allah mentioned knowledge twice. And He mentioned pen once to emphasize the importance of learning in Islam. We're supposed to be reading. The Messenger said, Khayrukum, Khayrukum, Man ta'allama al-Qur'an wa allama. The best amongst you is he who learned the Qur'an and teaches it, encouraging us to read and write. The Messenger said, Knowledge is the lost property of the believer. Go look for it, even if it's with the unbeliever, because you deserve it more than the unbeliever. Knowledge! Crave it! Crave it! So the messenger said, knowledge is a lost property of the believer. I see a lot of people, they don't know where they put their phone. They go like this, my phone, my phone. They try to find it. So the messenger said, treat knowledge as your lost property. Go look for it. The Alibul Ilum is saying, the word goes like, go seek knowledge even if it's in China. Was there a Quran in China at the time of Muhammad? No. The, the, the messenger might have mentioned that to prove the relative distance of where the knowledge is. It doesn't matter where the knowledge is. Go look for it. Even in China. It could be a Hadith or maybe some learned Muslim make those pronouncements. Whatever that is, it's a hadith, right? So uh, whatever that is, it's a very good and sound hadith. People travel from here to China to go get knowledge. People go from, from, from Nigeria to United States to get knowledge. Back then, to get knowledge is very, very hard. So the messenger said, go look for knowledge even if it's in China. It doesn't actually mean China because China was not the farthest part of the country when you compare Medina and China. Mongolia is even further down, but he mentioned China and Alhamdulillah when the Muslims were ruling Spain For 900 years they were ruling Spain Some of them went to China and the first thing they saw in the marketplace was paper This writing paper the Chinese were the first to develop the paper and at that time the Muslims needed paper They did something like that to put the Quran in it. The Mus'haf was put in the first paper they brought from sin from China sallallahu alaihi wasallam so Islam is always you know propelling you to seek the knowledge so we know today that two bodies of water they don't meet but they meet but they don't become one there is a partition in between them what is the favor that you will deny that Allah has given you Islam is full of knowledge. The Quran is beyond Salat. The Quran is beyond fasting. It's beyond Salat. It's beyond going to Hajj. The Quran is a bigger picture. It encapsulates all fiber of life. Knowledge is the key that unravels the mysteries of life. That is why the Quran has you know, given us that, that, that aptitude to keep on researching knowledge. The messenger said, seek knowledge from the time that you were born until the time that you go to your grave. What is that supposed to mean? Emphasizing that knowledge is key. It's because of knowledge that we are here. This mechanism you call camera and the lightning, it's not going to do anything if you don't have the knowledge. The man, the technician behind the camera could not use it the way it should be used according to the production or the company that put, you know, uh, instruction manual unless he have knowledge so knowledge is everything get knowledge read man if someone tells you something ascertain it don't just take it like that analyze it make sure it is consistent with your brain the god-given mental powers process it the senses that allah have given us it is beyond that of a human being i mean animal animals they don't have no knowledge they act instinctively. Instinct made them to act the way they acted. But you and me, human beings, are giving knowledge. With knowledge, we can do a lot of things. We've landed on the moon. We've done so many things, you know. It's as a result of knowledge. Knowledge is power.